uh, for a weak acid, uh, a strong base being titrated into a weak acid. And label the key points, and especially be able to calculate the pH of key points along this weak acid strong base titration. And really le learn how to calculate the pH at essentially any of the points along it. Okay, so uh, what is the pH of the following parts of a weak acid strong base titration if 25 milliliters of aqueous formic acid requires 30 milliliters of 0 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide to uh, reach the equivalence point. Uh, and then you get the Ka for formic acid. So we're gonna be looking at the initial pH uh, before the equivalence point, the equivalence point, and then after the equivalence point. All right, so uh, before titrations begins, and let's be specific here, we'll look at after 10 mils of sodium hydroxide is added at the equivalence point, and after 40 mils of sodium hydroxide is added, which it ends up being past the equivalence point. So let's dig into this. Uh, okay, before titration begins. So before titration begins, this is easy, right? We know how to do it. It's just a weak acid problem. So uh, we need to figure out what the concentration is. And so we need to figure out how much acid is there, right? We didn't, we didn't, the problem doesn't specify how much acid there is. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how much base there is. So the number of moles, uh, it's a little hard to see. It's, no, let's go up uh, a little thicker. Okay. A uh, number of moles, uh, NaOH. This we know, right? It's going to be the concentration times the volume that we added, which is 1.5 times 10 to the minus three moles. So that's the amount of acid. And therefore, that is the amount of base. Is that is the amount of base that we added. And therefore, that is the amount of acid as well. Uh, so the concentration of the acid is 1.5 times 10 to the minus three moles divided by the initial volume, 0 0.025 liters and we have 0 0.06 moles of HA. And now this is just the same sort of problem we've been working for the last week or so, right? We have, um, uh, we have HA, we have A minus, we have H plus and uh, 0 0.06 initial concentration, none of this, none of this, minus X plus X plus X 0.6 minus X. I'm going fast because you guys should probably have this uh, uh, ingrained in your head by now. We have the Ka 1.8 times 10 to the minus four is equal to the concentration of H plus, which is X. The concentration of A minus, which is X. Let's, let's just be specific here. It's H plus uh, um, A minus conjugate base all over HA, right? That's just the definition of Ka uh, over 0 0.06. And so plugging in, let's make this small, uh, the, 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 the amount is small approximation. And that would give us a 0 0.06 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus four is equal to x squared. <coughs> x squared is equal to uh, uh, 1.08 times 10 uh, to the minus fifth. And the square root of that, that gives us x equals 0 0 0.0033. Now, is that small compared to 0 0.06? 0 0.033 0 over 0 0.06, 5.5%, 5 .5%, not really. So we plug it into the quadratic formula. Once we uh, get it all uh, written out, we get 1.8 times 10 to the minus fourth times x minus 1.08 times 10 to the minus one to a 10 to the minus fifth. Uh, and we solve that to get X equals 0 0.0032. So that does change it, you know, in the, in the second uh, digit. Uh, that will give us a pH of 2.5, moderately low, uh, like a, a citrus juice there. So um, that is, uh, that's the pH at the initial point. So this is exactly what we've seen before. The only sort of degree of difficulty is figuring out what the concentration of the acid is. All right, so that's the first point. One down, three to go. Uh, next point is, what's the pH after 10 mils of sodium hydroxide is added? So 
what we need to figure out is how much acid and how much base there is. So how much base have we added? We've added 0 0.01 liters and a concentration of 0 0.05 uh, moles per liter. So we've added 0 0.005 moles uh, OH minus. How much total acid was there? It was 1.5 times 10 to the minus three, 0 0.0015 one five moles of HA. So if we react that with, uh, so we, uh, subtracting this from 0 0.0015 mole uh, uh, HA, that gives us 0 0.0010 mole HA. And how much base was, uh, uh, how much base was calculated? 0 0.005 mole a minus. Okay, so uh, we've created, we've, we've turned two thirds, uh, one third of this into conjugate base, two thirds of it remains acid. So what can we use? Ah, well, this is just, we can just use Henderson Hasselbach, right? Because we have moderate amounts of both uh, the base and the conjugate acid. So pH is pKa plus log base 10, zero point, conjugate acid goes on top, zero, 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 five. 0 0.0015, and we can use, remember, you can use total amount of moles because it's uh, the same, uh, the volume is the same, and that will give us, well, it's 3.74 is the pKa here, pKa equals 3.74, uh, and plus uh, uh, a minus 0 0.301, so that would be 3.44, so that's the pH at this point here. Um, yeah, so, so we can go through, we can, we can keep adding it, and we, and we can do the same thing for all of this range. Uh, once we get into this range, that's the point where the, uh, the small x um, approximation in Henderson-Hasselbach breaks down, and you'd actually need to include the minus x in Henderson-Hasselbach, solve the quadratic equation there. Um, but in this range, then it, all this flat range here, uh, until you get to within a couple moles or a couple thousands of moles of the equivalence point, uh, it works great. So that's the pH there. Great. So that's that point. What is happening at the equivalence point? So at the equivalence point, we have neutralized all of the acids. So what do we have left? It's a salt. What kind of salt? Well, it's a weak acid strong base, so it's going to be a basic salt. Uh, and so what we have is essentially uh, all of the acid, the 0 point, uh, 0 0.0015 mole of HA has been converted entirely into 0 0.0.15 mole of um, A minus. Okay, so that's the concept. We're starting out with conjugate base, and it's the same thing as, as, as a, um, it's a basic salt problem now. Uh, and so we need to figure out what the concentration is, right? Because there's no longer 25 mils. At the equivalence point, we've added 30 mils as well. So the total concentration, the concentration of A minus is going to be 0 0.0015 moles A minus divided by 0 0.055 liters, which is 0 0.0273 molar. Okay, so then we can write our ice table ice and we have a minus and now we're looking um, for a, how much of conjugate acid there is and how much OH minus right because now we're looking at a KB uh, we're interested in how much uh, OH minus will be created when uh, the conjugate base reacts with water uh, over a minus. And so we need to figure out what the KB is. KB is 10 to the minus 14 divided by Ka, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4. And so this is 5.56 times 10 to the minus 11th. All right, so we can look at the uh, ice equation or the ice table 0 0.0275, initial change equilibrium. Sorry, this is uh, not 5, that's 3. All right, clean it up a wee bit just so it's clear. Not that it really matters. I'm gonna take two significant digits at the end. 
a uh, zero zero <clears throat> and change to minus x plus x plus x uh, 0 0.0273 minus x x x this is looking awfully familiar uh, and the equa equation we get to solve is x squared divided by 0 0.0273 minus x is equal to 5.56 times 10 to the minus 11th. That is awfully low. So let's assume we can make it small. If we make it small, then uh, once you go through the math, uh, you're going to end up with x squared equals this times this. And we end up getting x is equal to 1.23 times 10 to the minus 6 as the concentration of OH minus. That is definitely small compared to 0 0.0273. It's like four out of orders of magnitude smaller. So we're okay with this. And then this gives us a pOH of, take minus log 10, 5.91, and a pH of 14 minus 5.91 equals 8.09. Okay, so uh, at the equivalence point, we, as we expect, we do see a, uh, a basic salt. Note that because it's a relatively strong weak acid, our basic salt is, is kind of near uh, pH, uh, pH 7. The, the weaker the acid is, the more basic the, uh, the salt will be. Okay, so we've got that. And finally, let's see what happens after the equivalence point. So after the equivalence point, what do we get? Um, <clears throat> we've essentially neutralized all of the acid. There's essentially no acid. And um, if we have, uh, again, uh, 40 mils of sodium hydroxide, we've added uh, 0.04 liters times 0.05 moles per liter, which is 0 0.002 moles OH minus. And remember, we only had 0 0.0015 moles HA. And so therefore, subtracting that, we get 0 0.0005 excess OH minus. So essentially, all of the weak acid is reacted. It's all gone. And so essentially, what we're doing is we have a basic salt, and we're just adding excess OH. So what would the concentration of the OH be? Well, that is going to be 0 0.0005 divided by what's the total volume? 40 plus 25 milliliters, so 0 0.065 liters. And that gives 0 0.00770 molar. Uh, and that's our concentration of OH minus. That gives a P, uh, pH is going to be 14 minus lo, uh, plus log base 10, 0 0.00770, which is 11.88. Very basic because all of the acid has been consumed. And so what we just have is the excess base there. Now, one could say, well, well, wait a second, wait a second, because um, what about any back reaction, right? You could still imagine that some of that conjugate base is going to be trying to pull some um, pull some uh, hydrogens off of um, uh, hydrogens off of the water molecule. So let's actually see what would happen. What happens to that conjugate base past equilibrium, uh, past the equivalence point? So write an ice table. Uh, because here we're just like calculating the pH that way, we're just totally neglecting this conjugate base that's sitting around. Let's see what happens to that conjugate base. So we have A minus, we have HA, and we have OH minus. And so how much do we have? Well, what's the concentration of our conjugate base? It's 0 0.0015 divided by 0 0.065 uh, liters, which is moles, ends up being 0 0.0231. And let's see how much of that reacts. So that's going to be minus x. Uh, this uh, will be x. <clears throat> and this will be uh, x as well, because we'll be creating a little uh, <coughs> OH, extra OH minus. So get 0 0.0231 minus x. This is x. This is 0, 0.0. Sorry, the initial concentration of OH minus, remember, is 0 0.0077. That's what we just calculated here. That's the excess OH minus in the reaction. We're going to see how much uh, how much additionally that gets added to when we have this conjugate base sticking around. So this is 0.77 minus x. Uh, so we write out the Kb. The Kb 
which from the last page is 5.56 times 10 to the minus 11, that is going to be equal to concentration of HA uh, over uh, times OH minus all over A minus, well, a conjugate base. What's HA? That's X. OH minus is 0 0.0077 minus uh, plus X. And the concentration of A minus is 0 0.0231 uh, minus X. Okay, so if we assume X is small, then that says, says the KB is equal to x times 0 0.0077 divided by 0 0.0231, which means that x is uh, 0 0.0231 divided by 0 0.0077 times kb, which is equal to 3kb, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10. So what is x? So this is a very small number. What is x? X is the additional amount of hydroxide that is created. So 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10, when we have uh, 0 0.0077, that's completely negligible. So what is the point of doing all this calculation? The point of doing all this calculation is to show you can completely neglect any reaction of the conjugate base at this point. The only thing that matters is in calculating the pH is the excess OH minus. So the, the pH is 11.88 and the, um, the concentration of conjugate base is completely irrelevant at this point because it can't um, create any more H, OH minus. There's already too much there. So that's what happens after equilibrium. Okay, so we've looked at these four points. We've looked at the four points of the initial pH, before equivalence, equivalence point, and after equivalence. So let's, let's put this all together. So let's, let's overview what we're doing all here. So um, we can calculate, the, the pH before the addition of any base using just the weak acid techniques uh, and, uh, and the Ka. So the same thing we've been doing in previous chapters. Um, we use Henderson-Hasselbach before and after the midpoint, uh, but the midpoint near the half equilibrium point, right, right in here, we can use Henderson-Hasselbach. And again, you might have to include the minus S, X plus X when you get very close to the equivalent point. But at the equivalence point, we have a basic salt whose pH we can calculate with known techniques. Uh, that we've just seen. After the equivalence point, the pH is based on excess uh, OH minus concentration. So this is how we can calculate the pH at any point along this titration curve. All right, that's the end of this.